In terms of extreme, this is about uh, as extreme as you can get. Right now, new information on the man who threatened President Biden, what he said that led to a deadly encounter with the FBI. Plus, a complete transformation, what some local student athletes can expect upon their return to school sports this fall. And we are tracking some showers spurting across southern Wisconsin. We've got some rain now and the potential for some severe weather later. The first warm forecast coming up. Good morning, folks. Happy Friday. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Leah Linshine. I'm Chris Stanford. Kelly Slifka is tracking some rain this morning. So this is the first round of stuff that we're going to get today. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's making its way into Dane County right now. And then we have a chance of severe weather. Later? Yeah, later this evening, it looks like uh, what's going through now is just some welcome rain. Nothing as severe out there. Uh, just kind of a dying out as it's been headed into Dane County. But we have seen some light rain spread through Madison. We had a few sprinkles here on the back, back patio. But the bulk of the rain is just off the west, moving into western Dane County. A little bit heavier as you get into Iowa and parts of uh, Lafayette County. Moving toward Monroe may get a pretty good downpour yet this morning. It's not going to last real long as it continues to move on to the east. Right now you can see that uh, the rain has spread into Western Dane County there. Uh, tonight though we do have a first warn uh, alert day because of that potential of se severe weather. High winds, large hail, heavy rain. Can't rule out an isolated tornado. That'll be later this evening, likely after the sun goes down. Temperatures, though, on the warm side uh, right now is 70. Madison 69 in the Dells. You can feel the humidity out there, and that's what's fueling some of these showers moving through. Now, by 9 o'clock, most of this to the east of our area, and actually most of today should be nice, warm, humid. Highs hitting the lower 80s with some sunshine later today. It won't be until after dark. We'll see some of these cells move in. Not everybody going to see the severe weather or may, may not even see some of the rain, but those that do do have the potential of seeing some large hail and damaging winds. So if you're driving this morning, we expect some wet roads for the morning commute. This afternoon should be quiet, but we do have that severe weather potential. We'll have more on it coming up in about 15 minutes. All right, Kelly Slifka, thank you very much. All Breaking right, news to... overnight. Firefighters are investigating a fire. Shane Hogan's here with the latest details. Hey, Leah, good morning. That's right. It appears that the fire happened at a senior living facility, the Ridge at Madison, just off Fish Hatchery Road. Now, the call came in just after 11 last night. Details right now are limited, but we do know that two ambulances were on the scene. Dispatch also confirming that this started as a cooking fire. You see some video here. News 3 had a crew there as well. At least two departments responding, both Fitchburg and Verona Fire, along with other first responders. Now, we continue to follow up with first responders on any new details to this breaking story, including whether anyone was hurt. We will bring you those updates further this morning. Yeah, scary for folks living at a senior living facility. Shane Hogan, thank you very much. New information this morning. Madison police are looking for a man they say tried enticing a little girl. Police say it happened along Allied Drive on the southwest side around 9 last Saturday morning. Officers didn't provide any more details on what exactly happened here, but they do have a suspect description out. They say he's a short man between five foot, five foot three, and between 20 and 30 years old. He has spiky, short, dark hair. He might also have some sort of scar or marking above his eyebrows. Anyone who might know something about this case, who might have seen a man that fits that description, you should call Crime Stoppers. That number is 608 266 6014. We now know the identities of the Wisconsin River drowning victims. Investigators say 24 year old Akash Selvam and 25 year old Jerome Schreiner both worked for ProMega, a Madison based biotechnology company. They were playing catch on a sandbar last Thursday when one of them went under. The other victim tried to help, but neither resurfaced. Rescuers found Shriner. Later that day, they recovered Selvam the following morning. Just heartbreaking. A civil lawsuit against 10 fake electors in Wisconsin will move forward this morning after a judge rejected a move to dismiss the case. Two Democratic electors and a voter are suing for $2.4 million. They say the fake GOP electors and two of Donald Trump's attorneys were part of the former president's conspiracy to overturn the 2020 election results. The suit asks to bar the electors from ever serving in another election again. The executive director of Wisconsin's Republican Party says he's confident the case will, quote, come up short. The case goes to a jury trial in September of next year. A Utah man accused of threatening the president is dead, shot by FBI agents. A law enforcement for source says that Craig D. Robertson pointed a gun at agents while they were trying to serve him warrants. Investigators say Robertson had been posting on social media threatening the president ahead of his trip to Utah. They also say that he had 
threats against people leading the investigation into Donald Trump, and two dozen against VP Kamala Harris. A Reuters special report found political violence in the U.S. is at its worst since the 1970s, documenting 213 cases of it since the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Purdue Pharma can't go forward with its bankruptcy proceedings this morning. The Supreme Court blocking the OxyContin manufacturer's $6 billion settlement on Thursday. The Sackler family, who previously controlled the company, agreed to that settlement for protection against any future civil claims. The court will now hear the family's case in December. Purdue says they're disappointed in the ruling and that it will delay victim compensation. In more local news now, Middleton High School athletes will have a new athletic complex this season. Check it out. The space was previously just three stall bathrooms and a concession stand. Now student athletes will have locker rooms, training space, full concessions and bathrooms with 18 total stalls. The district's Board of Education approved the plan last year. It's named after members of the Borden family who donated over $6 million for the project. That's the largest single family donation to a Wisconsin public school district. Gorgeous building. Hey, we are wrapping up our first week of our back to school fundraiser here at News 3 Now. A reminder, we're working with the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County to collect school supplies for area kids. You can drop those supplies off at our studio here at News 3 Now, any Boys and Girls Club location or at Metcalf's or participating Walgreens. Find a list of supplies that we need over on channel3000.com slash back to school. We, of course, donate our own time and money to the back to school drive. This year I had a little helper to pack my own backpack to donate. Take a look. We are out at the East Side Target here in Madison. Baby Zeke and I are going to do a little bit of shopping for our back to school fundraiser. Uncle Josh is supposed to be with us too. He went to go get a cart. It's taking a long time. But I think I hear him. Don't worry, guys. I'm here. You can't do Targo without some iced coffee, and we need the big cart for all these school supplies. Okay, classic. You ready to go? I'm ready. Let's go, buddy. Well, first up, we got to pick a backpack. Leah, what do you think Zeke's going to like? Okay, um, he's a little young to have a preference, so we're going to go <laughs> with what mom likes. Uh, we dressed him in red. We're Badger fans, so I'm going to lean toward the one with red. It's a shark vibe, and I love animals, so we're going to go with the shark guy. Shark, yeah. Shark, yeah. Okay, next up, notebooks. I'm gonna give Zeke two options. Red, obviously, badgers, or green. I'm a big green fan. Let's see what he likes. All right, Zeke, which one do you like? Do you like this one? Okay, that looks like a yes. How about this one? Oh, two hands. I think they're gonna go with green. Meanwhile, Josh is supposed to be grabbing some folders. Let's see, did you get enough? You know me, I like organization. You gotta have one of each color so that way you can separate all of the subjects. Mom could use a lesson in organization. Right? Yes, she could. Okay, I love a pencil organizer and I think this is really cute. Do you think it's too hokey? This is something unique and I know baby Zeke is gonna love that. Zeke, what do you think? Do you want this? Yeah. Oh, maybe we keep this one. Right into the mouth. <laughs> Speaking of pencils, it's time to debate regular pencils or mechanical pencils. I will fight to the tooth and nail on this one. I need a mechanical pencil. Really? Yes, that I need it to be precise. Me. I am old school. I like just the number two pencil. Where do you find a sharpener? Just in the classroom. You as old as Stanford or what? <laughs> All right, we got to get ready for art class with the scissors and the glue here. You struck me as an arty guy. Did you like art class? False. No. Big surprise, art was my least favorite class. I can't draw, I can't color, I can't do any of that. Okay, well, we need baby Zeke to be artsy, <laughs> so let's get him some glue. There you go, buddy. Don't open Don't that. Don't forget the scissors. Let's match the blue theme. Yeah, cute. I'm not going to give him the scissors, though. Okay, we wanted to pick out a couple of fun things, something a student can look forward to when they open up their backpack. I picked out this whale pen. Well, hello there. Oh, you're overwhelming me. Well, school can be kind of overwhelming. <laughs> so why not get some stickers? We got the good vibes. You know, I'm all about being a nice human. and kind of personalize your folders and notebooks and stuff. How about oh, that? Oh, Josh, you always make a smile. Oh, let's put it into the cart. So you knew there were going to be tons of puns as soon as we involved Uncle <laughs> right. Josh. Um, it was a good time, though. Thanks to baby Zeke for participating. He did not cry at all. Yeah, he's getting real big. Seven months old already. A, a great cause. Yes. Uh, all that's going to our back-to-school supply drive with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Dane Yes. Big thank you to the East Side Target. They were really, really helpful, allowed us to go in and do some shopping. Hey, if you're a teacher, by the way, and you're shopping at Target, you can load up on supplies and save 20% on a single order. Here are the details. You do need to use the Target Circle app to get that 20% off. 
That offer runs through August 26th. 609 coming up. The Wisconsin football team is ready to return to the uh, volleyball team, rather. Uh, expected to return to the court soon. What players have to say about the upcoming season and their ability to take it on? And we're live at the McKenzie Regional Workforce Center this morning with the Boys and Girls Club talking about our back-to-school drive and why we need your help and why I'm also dressed up. That's next in the 608. Join our team of healthcare experts and enjoy competitive pay, generous benefits, flexible schedules, and more. Apply now at apmadison.com slash careers. Associated Physicians, devoted physicians, trusted care. We're reinventing our network. With smarter, more efficient routes. So you can deliver more value to your customers. Fast, reliable, perfectly orchestrated. The United States Postal Service. Menards is your one-stop shop for all your pet supply needs. From leashes and collars to toys and food, you're sure to find what you're looking for. Stock up on Master Paws Original Dog Food for just $28.99 after rebate. Or treat your pet with Dental Brush Dog Treats for $11.99 after rebate. If you need it for your pet, you'll find it at Menards. Because we know that pets are family, and family deserves the best. Save big money at Menards. America, come along with our adventure seekers, the Sanchez family, and discover summer with the Ford F-150. See how available features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist make backing up as easy as turning a knob. Watch as Pro Power on board lights up the night. And Ford Blue Cruise makes driving even more fun. Now get a Ford F-150 XLT or Ford Lightning with 3.9% APR financing for 60 months plus 1,000 retail trade assist cash and 500 low APR cash. I know what it's like to perform through pain. If you're like me, one of the millions suffering from pain caused by migraine, Nurtec ODT may help. It's the only medication that can treat a migraine when it strikes and prevent migraine attacks. Treat and prevent all in one. Don't take if allergic to Nurtec. Allergic reactions can occur even days after using. Most common side effects were nausea, indigestion, and stomach pain. We're in this together. Talk to a doctor about Nurtec ODT. Fjords has been crafting beautifully designed functional furniture since 1941. Every aspect of Fjords furniture has been carefully engineered to create a higher level of relaxation. Visit the Century House today and view our extensive lineup. Experience the unmatched relaxation you can only achieve in Fjords furniture. Relaxation made beautiful. Visit the Century House at 3420 University Avenue in Madison or online at centuryhouseinc.com. Post says the key is under the Bizanguita cactus. When you want to easily unlock your vacation. Really helpful. It matters where you stay. True by Hilton. Hilton for the stay. At Associated Physicians, our OBGYN team loves taking care of each and every one of our incredible and unique patients. With us, your voice is heard. Call to schedule an appointment today at 608-233-9746 or visit apmedicine.com. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. In the 608, we're continuing our big push for our News 3 Now back to school supply drive. Josh Ryder is live in Fitchburg with how you can help right now. Looking good, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, you're probably wondering, well, what in the world is he all dressed up for this back to school drive? Well, this is really an important part of our push here because it all starts at this young age with going back to school, right? And then when we grow older, we got to have something that we want to be able to do in life and something to be successful. And Laura Ford Harris is going to help us yes. do just that. Laura, good morning to you. Good morning, Josh. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, so we are in the McKenzie Regional Workforce Center mm -hmm. right now, specifically in what part? We are in the workshop, and this is where students learn how to go from this to this with the tools from Milwaukee Tools and other sponsors who help us prepare youth for successful careers in the construction industry. And so just like those folders are so necessary for academic success in elementary school and middle school, as kids get older, they can learn how to build and how to, uh, how to look at a career in 
HVAC, uh, plumbing, uh, carpentry, and more so that they can be prepared for success in life after school. There's such a correlation between going mm -hmm. back to school at a young age yes. into adulthood, right? And it all starts right here, and you got to have that support at a young age. Right, absolutely. At Boys and Girls Club of Dane County, we start at age two and a half and go to age 24. So we help students go through their entire life cycle, learning and trying new things as they grow to be uh, uh, responsible, helpful, prepared adults. We want everyone to leave the Boys and Girls Club with a plan. So whether it's your academics and you go into our college program, we have a new pathway for youth who may not think that college is exactly the right fit for them. And it's in the skilled trades industry where we know right now there's over 10 thousand open jobs here just in Dane County alone. That's remarkable. Mm -hmm. And speaking of our back to school drive, I know you're sporting a backpack here. Mm -hmm. You guys are well on your way, but still we have a long way to go. Absolutely. We have about 150 backpacks um, and additional supplies. They're coming in, but we need to in this next week really push it so that we can put together over 500 backpacks. We know this is going to make a tremendous impact for families in this community. Just having their kids make sure that they have Pens, paper, pencils, a backpack. Folders. Folders for organization. We know you like organization. I love organization. You know, all of those things that help you be prepared for school and for success. And I mean, these folders probably maybe, what, $3 worth. I mean, it doesn't Absolutely. take a lot. No, no. And you know, so many uh, stores and, and different uh, companies are partnering with us. Walgreens is one of our, our major partners. Metcalf Markets, you can drop things off at Channel 3000, the Boys and Girls Clubs. There's a variety variety of locations if you go to our website at bgcdc.org back to school you can see where you can drop off supplies or you can use a link for Amazon where we have a wish list and also right here easy office um, products. We'll deliver those supplies right here to the um, to the Boys and Girls Club office. Make it a nice and easy. All right, there's those folders. You can stuff thank that you. backpack, Laura. As always, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Guys, coming up in our next half hour, we're going to learn a little bit more about the important things happening right here at the McKenzie Regional Workforce Center. They're going to put me into a simulator. It's going to be pretty fun, so stay tuned to the 608. Oh, interesting. Looking good in that helmet, Josh. Don't forget to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608? Just reach out on social media or email them for a chance to be featured. 617, it's an alert day. Kelly Slifka is watching some rain move in this morning and then some storms potentially this evening, right Kelly? Yeah, we do have a little bit of light rain right now. Uh, the umbrella may or may not need it, just depending on how far you have to go out. It's not coming down real heavily right now, but we do have some sprinkles just enough to wet the ground. Red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. Well, we kind of lost the red. It was red there just a few minutes ago. Now the clouds have pretty much moved in over the uh, Madison area and also some rain showers you can see on our high resolution radar. A lot of this unfortunately has really been fizzling out as it's been moving toward the Madison area. We're just getting the remnants. Some of those yellows indicating some moderate showers, especially down to the south and west in Lafayette County moving toward Monroe. But as mentioned, just some sprinkles here right now. Tonight though, things change. We do have a slight risk of severe weather. They'll be coming in tonight, uh, later this evening, especially in the Madison area, southern Wisconsin, probably not until after dark. That's why we do have a first warn alert day for that potential of severe weather moving in. Large hail, damaging winds, can't rule out an isolated tornado. This will be later this evening, likely after uh, sunset. So we had the showers this morning. A lot of this will taper off after 9 o'clock, and then we should see dry weather and actually quite a bit of sunshine for the afternoon. It's going to be steamy. It won't be until about 8, 9, 10 o'clock that we can expect that chance of rain to ramp up. Some stronger storms moving into southern areas of the state. We need the rain yet. What can we expect? Well, most locations about a quarter of an inch, a tenth to a quarter. But if you get under one of these heavier pockets, you could pick up a quick inch of, of rain. Right now we have one batch of rain moving through that storm system off to our west. will fire up another round later, later today. 70 right now in Madison, also Janesville, 68 in Lone Rock across Dane County. Temperatures in the 60s to around 70. So the uh, showers passing through this morning pretty quickly out of here by 8, 9 o'clock. 70s translating uh, going into the 80s this afternoon, low 80s. You can feel that humidity as well. Early evening quiet, but it will be after 8, 9 o'clock. We'll see some of these storms roll in. A lot of this winding down as we go through the midnight hour. And by tomorrow, we'll get into some sunshine. Looks like a nice weekend in general at low 80s for Saturday and Sunday. A chance of rain Sunday, mainly Sunday evening. That's behind a stronger cold front that will arrive by Monday and Tuesday of next week.
Three games left to play in the Mallards are in the driver's seat for a spot in the Northwoods League playoffs, and a win would go a long way for that one. Madison entered a game up on Wisconsin Rapids, and we're looking to make it two. Second inning, Mallards up three to one. Alex Harrell splits the diamond to bring home Davis Hamilton. Just like that, it's four to one Mallards. They'd go on to win 11 to three, and their magic number now moves to one with two games to play. Jordan Love is used to playing in the preseason. It's pretty much all the game action he's been seeing since being drafted by the Packers back in 2020. But this season, that's about to change because he's been handed the keys to the franchise. So instead of playing all or most of the preseason, Love will now just get a couple of series starting tonight against the Bengals. And for the new QB1, some is better than none. Get a couple series out there. Uh, I'm not sure how many yet. Said we were going to kind of base it off practice, how it went. Um, but yeah, no, I'm excited. I, I definitely want to be out there, get some reps, just get back into the game mode. <laughs> it's always good to get back into that mode of, of getting hit. I mean, I haven't been hit since last year. Um, but obviously, you know, I'm never trying to get hit. That's never the goal. Um, but, I mean, it does prepare you. At practice, the Wisconsin volleyball team has waiting is the hardest part up on the Jumbotron in the field house. And it couldn't be more true especially on how the season ended last year. But this year's squad is back with a ton of familiar faces along with a handful of transfers who joined the dynasty for one reason, to win championships. And the Badgers know that starts during their two-a-days. It's go time. Like, every time we step in the gym, we put on our game faces, and it's time to go because every moment in the gym counts because you don't know if that extra rep, if that extra set, like, could lead to winning a championship. I can just tell that this season is going to be even even crazier. Like, we're prepared. We know what we have to do. And being in the gym with these girls over the summer and over these past, you know, two days, I can tell that we're going to do some great things this year. And that's it for Morning Sports. Have a great day. Thanks, Zach. Still ahead, Walgreens has a new tactic to keep loiterers out. How the chain is using a simple fix for what they say is a big problem. Stay with us. We're back after this. The first warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. When our clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, yes, everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Bob's Summer of Savings makes buying new furniture a win-win. Get my Avenger sofa or console loveseat with exciting features like power reclining seats, USB ports, and Baba Pita comfort, just $9.99 each. In store or online today. Introducing Ned's plaque psoriasis. Ned, Ned, what are you wearing? He thinks his flaky red patches are all people see. Oh, Tesla is the number one prescribed pill to treat plaque psoriasis. Ned? It can help you get clearer skin and reduce itching and flaking with no routine blood tests required. Doctors have been prescribing it for nearly a decade. Oh, Tesla is also approved to treat psoriatic arthritis. Don't use Otesla if you're allergic to it. Serious allergic reactions can happen. Otesla may cause severe diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting. Some people taking Otesla had depression, suicidal thoughts, or weight loss. Upper respiratory tract infection and headache may occur. With clear skin, movie night is a groovy night. Live in the moment. Ask your doctor about Otesla. One bite of 100% Angus Beef Ballpark Frank, and you'll say... Hello, summer. Oh, yeah, it's ballpark season. In a Class 3 casino, you're playing against the house, so there's no guarantee a player has to win ever. And in a Class 2 casino, the players play against each other and not the house. So someone always wins. So you're saying... He's saying if you want to win at something, you have to go to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, a Class 2 casino where someone has to win. How about this then? Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. When our clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house... Yes! 
everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Welcome back. We ask you to share your morning with us. Kevin has been checking out the county fairs lately. Brought us uh, Babe. <laughs> babe is ready for the weekend. <laughs> ready for something. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kevin. Use your uh, photo expertise and uh, share your morning with us. We'd love to see it. Shane Hogan has the trending story of the day today. All right, guys. Walgreens has a new strategy to deter loiterers because they've been dealing with that. But you know, there's these stores all over the place while the chain is blasting some classical music outside of their stores. Okay. That's how they're doing this. It's happening in Chicago right now and elsewhere across the country. Cage speakers are surrounding the outside of certain stores and they're playing a loop of classical music. That playlist includes some Bach, and Rossini's William Tell Overture. I know that's Stanford's favorite piece. <laughs> now, according to one piece. of the stores, there's no hard data yet on this, but they do feel like it's working. Huh. Interesting. To, to keep people away, they're blasting classical music. <laughs> I like classical music. I wouldn't mind it. Yeah. Calming. Calms the robbers. Yeah. <laughs> the robbers. The, the loiterers. Oh, yeah, the loiterers. loiterers that we're worried about. Yeah, okay. we'll okay. see. Okay. We'll see if there's some data that comes out about <laughs> this. I'm skeptical. Coming up, folks, we're going to have the latest track on the morning rain and the chance of storm showers later. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Fresh produce is the best produce. That's why at Pick and Save, we invest in Wisconsin farmers to bring you the freshest seasonal picks. So no matter how you shop, your local produce always tastes as fresh as it gets. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Here's your parachute. Packed it myself. Certain it's okay? Mm hmm Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of congratulating coworkers or saying thank you for being a customer with promotional products from 4imprint. Our expert team is dedicated to making your satisfaction a certainty. Talk to myself. Land the perfect products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. America, come along with our adventure seekers, the Sanchez family, and discover summer with the Ford F-150. See how available features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist make backing up as easy as turning a knob. Watch as Pro Power on board lights up the night. And Ford Blue Cruise makes driving even more fun. Now get a Ford F-150 XLT or Ford Lightning with 3.9% APR financing for 60 months plus 1,000 retail trade assist cash and 500 low APR cash. When you pull up to someone's house, the first thing you see nowadays is their garage door. Let Precision's experienced designers come to your home and help you select the perfect door for your house. Precision is there to help. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. To everyone who's hungry for something special. Culver's is the place for us. Hi, what can I make fresh for you today? It's nice being greeted by people who are glad to see you. And I appreciate that they use real ingredients like fresh beef and Wisconsin cheese. The frozen custard is so fresh and creamy, it tastes like it was made just for us. It's our pleasure. Just spending time with family, that's what mealtime at Culver's is all about. From Wisconsin with love, welcome, welcome to the delicious. delicious. What can you do with sensitive skin? Okay, what a day. Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser does more than clean. It actually protects skin by keeping it hydrated. So you're always ready for the unexpected. Cetaphil, we do skin, you do you. Have you heard? Tempur-Pedic sleep is better sleep. With innovative memory foam developed by NASA, Tempur-Pedic mattresses reduce motion transfer. Which means less tossing and turning so you can sleep undisturbed through the night. But which Tempur-Pedic is right for you? Come to Denver Mattress and test for yourself. Or get a $300 gift when you purchase any qualifying Tempur-Pedic. And rest easy knowing it's backed by our 365 night better sleep guarantee. Shop Denver Mattress today, your Tempur-Pedic elite retailer. 
At Pick and Save, everyone wins when it comes to savings because you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards on pickup or delivery as you do in store. So no matter how you shop, everyone saves big. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. This morning, the Maui wildfires, now the deadliest Hawaiian natural disaster in over 60 years. How the state is responding and how many have evacuated so far. Plus, inflation may be down, but it's still hurting back to school shoppers. Where prices are now and how to save your checkbook this school year. And a look outside this morning shows the rain on the way, Kelly. Yeah, we have some uh, showers this morning and also a first warm alert day for later this evening after the sun goes down. We do have the potential of severe weather. We'll talk more about that coming up. Good Friday morning, everyone, and welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Leah Linshad. We are talking about some rain this morning, some really interesting clouds over mm -hmm. Madison. But the alert day is for the potential for storms this evening. Yes, yeah, mainly this evening. So uh, we've got the uh, showers moving through now. None of this is going to be severe. It's not until later this evening after the uh, sun goes down, we'll have that potential of seeing some of these storms uh, fire up. So that's going to be the uh, threat. Uh, high winds, some damaging winds, large hail, heavy rain for some and can't rule out an isolated tornado. Once again, after sunset, that's when you're gonna have to be uh, keeping an eye to the sky. Right now, our high resolution radar, light rain moving through the uh, Dane County area. A lot of this fizzled, actually had some pretty decent rains out there in Grant, Crawford, and Vernon counties into Iowa and Richland County, but now a lot of that's starting to fizzle. Some moderate showers down to the south near Monroe. All this is moving on to the east. You can see how light it is on our high resolution radar as we're looking at the scope. 70 right now in Madison and also the Dells. Janesville, a mild start to the morning. You're going to feel that humidity today. After we get through some of these showers this morning here, up until about 9 o'clock, we'll actually get into some sunshine. You're going to get a little bit steamy today as we climb into the lower 80s. So the afternoon is going to be dry, and even into the early evening hours should be dry. Not until after 8, 9 o'clock off to the west, 9, 10 o'clock in the Madison area. That's when we do have the potential of seeing some of these storms fire up and potentially producing some severe weather. 70 right now, reporting some light rain at the airports. Uh, 70s this morning with that sun breaking out a little bit later on this morning. That'll heat things up and fire some of these storms this evening. We'll talk more about it coming up in about 15 minutes. All right, thank you, Kelly. Now to the latest developments in Hawaii. At least 55 are dead and search and rescue efforts continue in the deadliest Hawaiian natural disaster in 60 years. At least 1,000 buildings are destroyed on Maui almost completely leveling the town of Lahaina. A possible reason to the high death toll of 55 is that the island's emergency alert system did not work properly, meaning residents only knew there was danger when they saw the flames or heard explosions. Thousands are sheltering in airports waiting for flights out, while thousands more have spent their nights in local shelters. Over 10,000 tourists have been evacuated. Here's a look at the U.S. wildfire activity web map this morning. The red on the left of the screen shows fire activity near Lahaina. On the center, you, screen, you see fires spreading near cities near the heart of the island. Over 150,000 people called the island home. Just devastating video out of Maui this morning. To our back-to-school coverage here in Wisconsin, parents and teachers feeling the pain of high prices as they get their kids ready for the school year. The National Retail Federation says this could be the most expensive year yet. Spending could hit a record $41 billion, up from 11% last year. The average family spends about 900 bucks on school supplies. The biggest items hit by inflation are graph paper, mechanical pencils, highlighters, and folders. So let's help families save some money this morning. Uh, shopping online, that's a big one. That can be a big saver. You'll be able to compare and find the best sales and deals. Buy in bulk. The per-cost unit's always cheaper if you buy in bulk. Plus, you may get ahead on next year's school shopping. Buy generic brands. The store brand, usually the same product and the same quality as the name brand, while being almost 25% cheaper. Lastly, shop without your kids. Craft a list with them at home, but shopping without them will help avoid the pressure of spending more money on flashy, unnecessary items they may see in the store. And if you have any unused supplies or the means to pick up some additional supplies when you're out school shopping, please donate to our Back to School Supply fundraiser. You still have another week to do so. You can drop off those supplies here at our News 3 Now studios on Raymond Road, any Boys and Girls Club of Dane County location, Metcalfs or Walgreens. You can find a list of supplies that are needed over at channel3000.com slash back to school. It is 634 now. Today's the deadline for us to learn whether Madison's police chief will be taking the top cop position in Chicago. Our Shane Hogan is here now with what we know so far and what to expect today. Shane. 
Yeah, Chris, that's right. Chief Sean Barnes is one of three finalists to take over as Chicago Police Superintendent. Barnes has experience in the city. He was previously serving as the director of training and development for the civilian office of police accountability in Chicago. It was his most recent job before moving here to Madison. It is important to note Chief Barnes has lived in Chicago his entire tenure as Madison's top cop. Today marks the final day for Chicago's mayor to appoint someone to that position. Now here's what Barnes has said about this potential new job. When he was first announced as a finalist, the chief released this statement saying, quote, to respect the hiring process, I am unable to comment specifically on this matter. I will answer all questions and speak about this matter once the process is finalized. Again, we should know by the end of the day if Barnes gets this Chicago job. After that, though, the city council in Chicago will have 60 days to confirm the choice. So come fall, Madison could be looking for a new chief of police. All right, Shane Hogan, uh, I would think that we would hear something from Chicago police via press conference today or even a statement from Barnes. Uh, so please uh, stay up to date with uh, News 3 Now News app or in channel 3000.com today. Shane, thank you very much. Hey, we're following some breaking news just into the newsroom this morning. Police say there's a person in the hospital with serious injuries in a case that officers are labeling a weapons violation. Officers say it happened along East Johnson Street around 1130 last night. Police found a victim with a laceration after some sort of fight. First responders taking that person to the hospital. Again, they are seriously injured this morning. Police say the suspect was gone before they arrived. They do say there's no known threat to the public at this time. This activation, this investigation is very much still active, though. Stay with us here on News 3 Now as we learn more. And an update now on two fatal crashes we brought you as breaking news yesterday. Both happened on West Washington Avenue, only hours apart. A nearby business owner says he saw the first crash near the intersection of South Park. He says he saw a 25-year-old man stumble out of his car after crashing into another vehicle. Madison police say they believe that driver was driving drunk. The driver of the second car, a 32-year-old man, police say was driving recklessly and may have lost control of his car. Officers haven't released the names of anyone involved in either crash. A 19-year-old will spend time behind bars for attempted murder in a 2022 shooting in Madison. A jury convicted Demarion Pollard of attempted first-degree homicide, possession of a firearm by a felon, and two counts of felony bail jumping. Prosecutors say Pollard was involved in a shooting last August near the intersection of Leland Drive and Balsam Road, injuring a 22-year-old man. Two others are also charged in this shooting. Defendant Zanya Anderson has a bail hearing today. He's pleaded not guilty to attempted at first-degree intentional homicide. A third defendant, Javante Coger, will head a trial in December on that same charge. He's also pleaded not guilty. Happening today, there's a hearing scheduled this morning on whether a protective order will be put in place against former President Donald Trump. This is for Trump's latest indictment, accused of conspiring in the 2020 election. That order deals with whether Trump can talk about certain details in this case. This will be the first hearing under District Judge Tanya Chutkin, who's received extra security after criticism from some Trump supporters. She's repeatedly spoken out against the January 6 riots, and she's known for going over what prosecutors requested when deciding prison sentences for some of those rioters. Trump is not required, by the way, to be in D.C. for today's hearing. Well, take a look at this. Carbon 4 Brewing and the Wisconsin Union coming up with a couple of new drinks here. Terrace Lemonade and Terrace Strawberry Lemonade. The brewers at Carbon 4 have been spending some time crafting recipes which contain real lemon juice and no artificial colors. And while they were doing that, the Memorial Union came up with the art on the can which features the iconic Sunburst chairs. Right now, the cans are only available at the Memorial Union, but by fall, you'll find them at Wisconsin Union-run dining locations. Hey, sign me up. I'd love one of these. Nice, colorful cans. Collectible. Uh, can't wait to find out what it tastes like. All right, it's 638 coming up after the break. Classes to help you respond if your loved one is having a medical emergency. Some really good advice ahead. And we do have some light showers moving through southern Wisconsin this morning, but the threat for severe weather has prompted a first warn alert day for this evening. We'll talk about it coming up. Good morning, everyone. I'm Josh Ryder, live at the McKenzie Regional Workforce Center at the Boys and Girls Club. They have me in a simulator. We're going to learn about the correlation between something like this and our back to school supply drive when News 3 Now This Morning continues. 
Get up to 56% off list at our huge 56th anniversary sale at Slumberland Furniture. Plus, enter to win a free car. Living rooms, bedrooms, mattresses, and more. 56th anniversary sale at Slumberland Furniture. This week's Hy-Vee hot deals are fresh ground beef, $2.77 for a one pound roll. Green seedless grapes, $1.48 a pound. And Frito-Lay party size snacks, only $3.49 each when you buy three. All week long at Hy-Vee. Wish you had help getting things done. Same. So I got second one. Fast internet, unlimited mobile, and advanced Wi-Fi, all for a great price. Spectrum helps me run all this easily. Work, bust. Treat dispenser, treating. And since I'm always on this, unlimited mobile is a no-brainer. Get Spectrum internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, and your first line of unlimited mobile free for 12 months. Call 833-802-4999 or visit spectrum.com today. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Choose Flex Buy on a 2023 Ford Escape or Edge and get 2.9% APR financing for 66 months plus $1,000 Flex Buy cash. Only at your local Ford dealer. Mark, a little help here? Keep it down. The noise is making them angry. Whoa. Hey, I'm not a beekeeper, but I can replace these windows fast. Let Feldco be the experts in your home renewal. Right now, buy one window and you'll get one free. Plus, no interest for one year. And we'll get it done Feldco fast. Buy one window, get one free, and soon. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. It's Hy-Vee's BOGO Sale, this Friday through Sunday. Buy one, get one free on marinated pork loin or tenderloin. Buy two, get two free on select Coke products. And buy one, get one free on select Dole salad kits, only at Hy-Vee. Incredible mattress deals. Plus, enter to win a free car at the huge 56th anniversary sale at Slumberland. Up to 56% off list. Amazing deals on mattresses, pillows, sheets, and more at Slumberland. It's a big deal. Get ready for an improved news experience. The all-new Channel 3000 News app is here. Tailored for your news the way you want it with a customizable home page. Stay informed effortlessly. Swipe through articles without returning to the home screen. And no more waiting. The new app loads faster than ever, ensuring you get news updates instantly. Download the all-new Channel 3000 News app today. Your gateway to news your way. Powered by News 3 Now. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. On the Health Watch this morning, Mercy Health is now holding advanced stroke life support classes. Some really good information for anyone here. The main purpose of the training is to improve providers' initial assessments of a potential stroke, but something anyone could watch out for here. It's a new class the American Heart Association just started. Experts say to follow the Be Fast acronym to try to identify a stroke. This method involves monitoring the patient's balance, eyes, that's the B part of it, face, arms, and speech, uh, while paying attention to the length of time, the T and fast, while they may have been experiencing symptoms to try to catch it early. That's really good advice, especially yeah. if you have parents who might be a little older. Right. Certainly right. taking right. note. Right, right, right. Be fast. 643, Kelly Slifka is outside. You can hear the rain coming down on his umbrella. How's it It's how's it feeling out there, Kelly? Yeah, don't you just love that sound, that pitter-patter of some uh, <laughs> rain falling on some of the uh, uh, objects out here? And that's what we have this morning. Nothing real heavy falling, just enough to basically wet the ground, but that's what we're going to have to deal with this morning. So if you are just running to your car, you might not even need the umbrella, but if you're out for a little bit longer time, you might need the, uh, the umbrella, at least for another hour, hour and a half here in the Amatison area. As you can see that narrow band has really weakened. We actually had some pretty decent rains off to the west, but that has really shrunk down. Still a moderate shower down in Green County near Monroe. Uh, as mentioned, some of the areas to the west did pick up uh, nearly a half of an inch. Some of those darker blues showing up in Crawford County. And then as you head into southern parts of Grant and also Lafayette counties, but just minimal amounts here in the Madison area. Uh, things will change, though, going into tonight. We do have a slight risk of severe weather 
And that is the second to the least of the uh, on a scale of one to five. But needless to say, some of these storms that fire up going into the late evening hours after sunset do have the potential of producing hail and damaging winds. That's why we do have the first warn alert day going into the late evening hours. You may see some heavy winds and also some isolated uh, tornadoes are possible going into the late evening. Rainfall, we still need more rainfall. Many locations, probably less than a quarter of an inch, but a heavy downpour could quickly give you a half to as much as an inch of rain, just depending on where those storms fire up. All right, we do have the uh, showers moving through now, but you can actually see some of the uh, skies clearing to the west. So we'll actually get into that, and it's going to soar into the lower 80s. You're going to feel the humidity going into today as well. All right, tonight might not be too great for looking at the meteor shower, the Perseid meteor shower. We may clear out after 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, so if you're up that early, you might see them. But after midnight in general is the best viewing. Just look to the northeast. Saturday night, we should have some clear skies, so it should be good viewing for that meteor shower this weekend. Right now, we do have that light rain moving through the Madison area right now, but skies are clearing to the west. We'll actually get into that sunshine, but that storm will fire up more storms as we go through the evening. 70 right now in Madison and also Janesville. A little bit more humidity keeping these temperatures up this morning across Dane County, 70 in Sauk City and Cross Plains. Right now, Mount Horb at 68 and 68 in Stoughton. So the uh, shower should be out here in the next hour or so, and we'll actually break out into some sunshine later this morning and actually quite a bit of sun going in the afternoon. That'll be a steamy afternoon with low 80s. If you are headed out early this evening, you should be okay. But after about 9, 10 o'clock, that's when we are expecting these storms to fire up. Any one of these storms do have the potential of producing some large hail and damaging winds. This will continue up until about midnight. Then everything starts to uh, wind down. We should actually you know, get into some clearing later tonight. First warm forecast keeps it humid today, but uh, the uh, storm chances once again ramping up this evening. We clear out tomorrow. It should be a beautiful Saturday. And actually most of Sunday should be nice as well. That chance of storms really waiting off, uh, waiting until the evening. And then that's with a cold front that will bring us much cooler weather. Definitely feeling like autumn on Monday before getting back in the 80s by Tuesday and Wednesday. Hey, hoping we're getting a couple good drinks of water here, Kelly. Yeah, we've got the pretty decent chance again tonight and again at Sunday night. That'll be our best opportunity for seeing some accumulating rain. All right, thank you very much. 646. We are in the 608, continuing our push for our News 3 now. Back to school drive. Josh Pryder is live in Fitchthurg, Fitchburg this right. morning. Uh, and he is driving a simulator. Don't this take your eyes off the road, Josh. <laughs> hey there, Josh. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I'm on the live drive in an 18-wheeler. <laughs> We're having some fun here this morning, checking out this awesome simulator. So this is actually a, a CDL driving course that they have me on at the McKenzie Workforce Center. And this is just one of the opportunities that this beautiful new facility has. Alan Branch is the Vice President of Workforce Development. Alan, good morning to you. Good morning, Josh. How am I doing so far? You're doing great. Go ahead and get your CDL. Join us here at the McKenzie Regional Workforce so Center. So this is amazing. <laughs> technology. You have this simulator that I'm driving right now, again, an 18-wheeler. You also have another simulator behind, and this is really giving folks hands-on experience. Yes, yes, and uh, we have a great relationship, a partnership with the Latino Workforce Academy uh, here in Madison. They have a full-blown CDL training program. Our kids will start here at the McKenzie Regional Workforce Center, and it's our goal that every kid that comes through our program uh, which is called Career Force Buildup, uh, will at least get their CDL permit uh, here in this program, and we're hoping that they continue on with the with the Latino Workforce Academy and get their CDL certification. You know, this correlates well with our back to school drive right now that we have in partnership with you guys here at the Boys and Girls Club, because. You have the opportunity to choose your own path in life, but it all starts with going back to school, and those supplies are so important. Absolutely, and, and, and we want them to have everything that they need to get off the school year with a great start. Uh, and, and not every child um, is, is destined for college. Um, you know, uh, four-year college isn't their only option. Uh, so here at the McKinsey Re uh, Regional Workforce Center, uh, we're giving them different pathways, different options uh, for those youth who don't feel that uh, a four-year degree is in their path. Uh, the skilled trades is a great option for them to explore right here in the McKinsey Regional Workforce Center. You guys had so many amazing partners and sponsorships in making this so successful. I mean, this <laughs> space is amazing. Where do you see this going in the future, Alan? Well, um, it's just providing opportunity for our youth. Uh, that's the future of this facility. Um, we want every kid to feel that they have a space that they can go to uh, to learn and grow and develop, to be everything that they want to be in life. 
And the skilled trades is a great career opportunity opportunity for so many kids in our community. So it all starts right now, of course, our back to school drive, Alan. It's off to a great start, but you guys are still in need of quite a bit of support over the next week. We definitely do, and primarily for the, um, the elementary kids. Um, uh, go to our website, um, uh, bgcdc.org. Uh, you'll find all the different locations uh, where you can drop off your supplies. Uh, we certainly need help in the middle school area. I uh, hope you join us. Uh, let's give the kids all of the resources they need to start off the school year uh, on a good foot this year. Couldn't agree more. Alan, thank you so much. Boy, multitasking when I'm behind the wheel of an 18-wheeler <laughs> is no easy task. I appreciate it. You're doing it. great, Josh. You're doing great. I appreciate it, Alan. Guys, we'll send it back to you in the studio. I tell you what, we could have used this simulator before we drove that school bus up in Wanakee last week, especially Miss Leah Lynchide. I can't wait to see that piece there next week. <laughs> Turns out I'm not a very good bus driver. Yeah, we did a, a, we filmed a segment last week where we all got to drive a school bus. You'll see how we did next week. These two did well, spoiler right, alert. I, did not. Um, I need a I need a simulator for sure. Josh Brighter, eyes on the road, buddy. Thank Thanks, you very Josh. much. Don't forget to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. <laughs> Reach out on social media or email him for a chance to be featured. 650 up next, the morning sprint. Is coming up next, and uh, we want to remind everyone if they've got a little kiddo turning three soon to share their picture with us. We have a couple of kiddos doing that today. We want to say happy birthday to Jacob. Do we have a picture of Jacob? There, there he we is. Go. Happy birthday, buddy. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park, and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. The sun is setting on Toyota's national sales event. Wait, they have until September 5th. Get 3.99% APR for 48 months on many of Toyota's most popular models. Toyota, let's go places. Get the absolute lowest prices now during Furniture and Appliance Mart's Labor Day event. Save $1,600 instantly on this four-piece Whirlpool kitchen package. Or get a washer and dryer pair for $18 a month, all with 72-month special financing at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley. Precision is very proud of our five-star reviews. I do everything I can to go above and beyond for repairs. <laughs> no, I'm not an actor. I'm a garage door tech. That's what I do here at Precision. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. I'm Megan Tim, Director of Community Health at SSM Health. You may know us as healthcare providers, but we live here too. And as good neighbors, we know our community thrives when we take care of each other. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are sharing the keys to health. Watch for our expert information and advice on air, online, and at fun local events. Join SSM Health and News 3 Now, and together, we'll unlock a healthier community by taking time for kids. Your dirty vents may be telling you something. Pounds of dirt, dust, and contaminants are trapped in your air ducts. That's why you need a professional air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer. We've been cleaning air ducts the right way for over 25 years. Our NADCA certified technicians and powerful equipment clean your entire system, extracting the dirt into our trucks, removing it from your home completely. For better indoor air quality and improved HVAC efficiency, call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. We're reinventing our network. With smarter, more efficient routes. So you can deliver more value to your customers. Fast. Reliable. Perfectly orchestrated. The United States Postal Service. Okay, guys, we're all here because U.S. Cellular has an incredible deal. Right now, you can get four lines with unlimited data for just $90 total. Sorry, just double checking. Is it really that good of a deal? Yeah. It's a huge deal. On top of that, you also get four free phones. Four free phones! Wow, I just triple checked and that's awesome. So go get that deal. Or at least help me clip. Do you check the expiration dates? Oh, I can do that. Great. Four lines for $90 a month plus four free phones. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Get the absolute lowest prices now during Ashley's Labor Day event. Save even more on doorbusters at discounts up to 83% off. Like this sofa and love seat set, now $5.98. Plus six year special financing with no money down. Only at Ashley. The sun is setting on Toyota's national sales event. Wait, they have until September 5th. Get 3.99% APR for 48 months on many of Toyota's most popular models. Toyota, let's go places. 
Shop back to school at outlets at the Dells. 6.54, time for the morning sprint. 55 people are confirmed dead in Maui after one of the deadliest natural disasters in Hawaii in 60 years. At least 1,000 buildings are damaged. The historic town of Lahaina destroyed. Thousands of people are sheltering in airports waiting for flights out. Thousands more are spending their nights in local shelters waiting out the fire. Back in Wisconsin, breaking news overnight. Firefighters are investigating a fire in Fitchburg. It, happens at a, it happened at a senior living facility, the Ridge at Madison, just off of Fish Hatchery Road. The call came in just after 11 last night. Details right now, they're limited, but we do know two ambulances were on scene. Dispatch also confirms it started as a cooking fire. More breaking news. Police say there is a person in the hospital with serious injuries in a case they're labeling a weapons violation. Officers say it happened along East Johnson Street around 1130 last night. Police found a victim with a laceration after some sort of fight. Police say the suspect was gone before they got there. A federal judge will hear arguments today in the 2020 election conspiracy case against former President Donald Trump. Prosecutors requested a protective order looking to stop Trump from publicly discussing government evidence. This will be the first time the case's lawyers will be before the judge. The former president not expected to attend the hearing today. A civil lawsuit against 10 fake Wisconsin electors will proceed this morning. Two Democratic electors and a voter are seeking $2.4 million from fake GOP electors and two of Donald Trump's attorneys. They accuse them of being part of a conspiracy to overturn the 2020 election results. The executive director of Wisconsin's Republican Party says he's confident that case will come up short. All right, five minutes away from us, seven o'clock. We do have some light rain moving right through the uh, Madison area this morning. Not a whole lot, but just uh, enough to wet the ground this morning. That'll be out of here by eight, nine o'clock. We'll look at uh, some sunshine breaking through the clouds. That'll warm us into the mid 70s by the noon hour. And the afternoon is just gonna be warm and humid with low 80s. Later this evening, though, we are looking at storms to fire up to the west after eight o'clock, spreading eastward toward Madison, nine, 10 o'clock. Some of these uh, do have the potential of producing large hail and damaging winds. They should clear out after midnight and then we'll look at uh, better weather. But uh, just some rain this morning and most of the afternoon, early evening will be dry, low 80s expected. You're gonna feel the humidity today. Tomorrow though, it looks great, 83 degrees with sunshine. And uh, Sunday, most of the day dry as well. Most of that rain will hold off until the evening. We'll keep track of that alert day online and on air. Stay with us, folks.